Ben Horner for Norwich Boxing, here with Craig Poxton. How you getting on? All right, mate, yeah. Just now done six, eight good, good. good rounds of sparring. Um, how do you feel it went? Yeah, good. He's a sharp kid. He's got a fight in a couple of weeks, so he's, he's on the ball, strong. He's got a good, few good stoppages, you know, he's doing well. Since last speaking to you, there's been a date change, venue change. Yeah. Can you sort of fill in the gaps, let us know a bit more information on it? Yeah, well, it's been put on the Matchroom um, show 26th of March at um, Sheffield Arena on the Kelbrook undercard. Luke Campbell's on, a uh, bit, bit of a battle of Sheffield, I think, for the he some heavyweight 10-rounder, Richard Towers, so that'd be a good night, I think. When you sort of found out about that, did that change things for you a little bit? You know, you you, you knew you were going in there fighting for the English title and you knew that it was going to be back home as such. Um, now things have got a bit bigger, you know, so it's going to be on Sky Sports. It, has that changed your mindset on it at all? Well, no, it's boxing these things up and obviously I'm, I'm really happy about it, I'm buzzing for the exposure and that, but I'll still train and I'll prepare just as hard as I were going to in Doncaster, Sheffield, Norwich. Wherever you want to put it on, I'll still train 100% and I'll put everything into the fight. You know, the fight's been put back slightly. Yeah. Um, has that changed anything on the way that you were training for the fight? or? Well, you've got to just slightly tweak things so you peak at different times, but that's not, not a problem. We had plenty of notice, so it's, if it were like a few weeks before the fight and you get enough on condition, but it wasn't, do you know what I mean? So it, it's, it's fine. <laughs> Well, I noticed, you know, um, joined up with a gym and you're, you're, you're now going to be working down there a little bit more outside of the boxing gym. Um, yeah. How do you feel that's going to benefit you this camp? Well, I've always sort of used another gym anyway. It's just that um, they've been taken over by Sentinel Trust now. So they've got a lot more gyms and they're happy for us to go down there and use it. Obviously, it works out for them for publicity and it helps me out. So it's not too bad. Friday night, York Hall, you witnessed a stable mate of your own, um, someone who you do many rounds with, Ryan Walsh defended his British title. Um, what did you make of the occasion? Well, it's a York Hall, it's always it's brilliant down there, isn't it? But I think you could see it in Ryan, obviously I s spend a lot of time with Ryan in here and uh, talking to him after the Munamian fight. Um, he had the bit between his teeth, I think he boxed brilliantly, razor sharp, do you know what I mean? Um, He'll probably admit himself, the first couple of rounds he were a bit wanted him out, but as soon as he settled, the class, class above, you know, he were hitting him at will, making him miss. But you could see in his interviews and, and photos and everything how focused he was, do you know what I mean? And, and like he said, I think staying active is going to do him the world of good. Um, he's a class fighter, brilliant fighter, so now he can push on and keep going, hopefully get up there to world level where he's, he belongs, like. Witnessing a stable mate uh, headline such a bill at your call, um, I know you don't want to look ahead of your opponent, but if and when you go win that English title, what would that mean to you to come back to Norwich and headline a Shamrock show and defend your British, uh, defend the English title, you know, back home and like yeah. in front of your home crowd? Oh, that that'd be brilliant. Do you know what I mean? Uh, Mervin with Shamrock, they've done a grand job obviously Nathan's headline some Sam um, Billy's had fought for one of his um, masters titles but and Joe he's got one of the, uh, the challenge belt but that'd be brilliant obviously Sh like I say Shamrock's done a lot with me I've been with him for three years now and he sort of brought me front wilderness where I was four rounders I've, I've, he's got me on shows away um, fought for the southern area now the English that'd be nice to return the favour sort of thing do you know what I mean well, um, best of luck. Um, I'm sure we'll meet up with you again. Um, back in the training session, get a yeah, yeah. See, see how things are going closer to the time. But um, yeah, best of luck from all of us. And uh, I'm sure we'll get to see you again soon. Nice one, Brilliant. <laughs>